squares and minus. So this is the difference of two squares. A squared minus B squared equals A plus B times A minus B or A minus B times A plus B. It doesn't matter. The order doesn't matter. Let's start directly. Factor each of the following. But you have to, to remember that when we, when we factor any polynomial, we have to find greatest common factor. In this case, we don't have GCF. We don't have greatest common factor. So we go directly to the difference of two squares. In difference of two squares, we have to find the square root of the first term and the square root of the second term. The square root, the positive square root of x squared is x and positive square root of 25 equals 5 so the answer will be x minus 5 times x plus 5 so easy let's go to the second example in the second example we have coefficient of n squared and coefficient of m squared so we, we need to find the square root of 16 n squared which is 16 square root of 16 equals 4 square root of n to the power of 2 equals n also the square root of 9m squared equals square root of 9 is 3 the square root of m power 2 is m so the answer will be like this since m it will be 4n square 4n sorry minus 3m and 4n plus 3m in the third example we have to find the greatest common factor we have to take the greatest common factor we have 27g to the power of 3 minus 3g so in this case we have 20 we have greatest common factor of 27 and 3 which is 3 and the common factor of g squared g to the power of 3 and g is only g so let's rewrite 27 by 3 equals 9 and g to the power of 3 divided g equals g to the power of 2 minus 3g divided 3g equals 1 so we have to rewrite to rewrite again in the factor of 4 3g and open two bracket two branches like this the square root of 9g to the power of 2 is 3g and the, uh, and the square root positive square root of 1 is 1 so it will be plus 1 and 3g minus 1 so the answer will be like this example number 4 we have p to the power of 4 minus 16 so we need to find the k to the power of 4 so the square the positive square root of p to the power of 4 will be b to the power of 2 and then the square root of 16 is so the answer would be b squared minus 4 and b squared plus 4 but we still have difference of two squares which is b squared minus 4 so we have to factor this one they're gonna be it will be b yes square root of b squared is b and square root of 4 is 2 so b minus 2 and b plus 2 and then this nothing called sum of two squares no factorize so it will be b squared plus 4. in this case we factorize the polynomial let's go to example number five it's the same but difference uh, 16 minus p to the power 4 instead of b squared to the power 4 minus 16 it will be the same so 16 will be 4 minus b squared 4 plus b squared then rewrite 4 minus b to be 2 minus b and the 2 plus b and this will be the same 4 plus b squared the last one do we have greatest common factor here 5x to the power of 3 and minus 45x so it seems that 5 is a common factor between 5 and 4 5 and x to the power of 3 and x so it will be x then rewrite it after taking common factor 5x to the power of 3 divided 5x it will be x to the power of 2 minus 45 divided 5 equals 9 and the x and the x cancel together so, so we have 5x and this will be difference of two squares we'll make it as x plus square root of 9 3 and the second one is x minus 3 Thank you for watching.